What's going on, everybody? Jason here from Action Game. We're back with some more reviews, yes, on The Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies. Now, I just recently seen this movie. I, I literally am doing this review, like, right after the movie. Um, it, I find to do something like this, it's really good to do right off the bat, so that's why it's still fresh in your mind, and, you know, you, you can do the review, so... Um, but anyways, this movie really starts off at a really good position, and, you know... I was kind of wondering, like, what the beginning was going to be like, because, of course, the second movie, it started off right at the beginning, where, you know, um, Gandalf was talking, um, of course, uh, to Thorin, and, uh, you know, they're having that conversation of, like, you know, do you want to get the mountain back and stuff, so I was kind of curious on how things were going to turn out, but in general, I kind of enjoyed it where, you know, it continued off from, like, the last movie, and that, that, that's like the best spot to put it in general, you know. And uh, anyways, of course, um, Smog was destroying uh, the town. Like, I was kind of wondering, like, when they were going to kill Smog. But I found they killed him a little too early in the movie. Like, I know that was pretty much, like, the good spot to have him in general. But unfortunately, you know, I kind of felt like, you know, he was part of the, you know, the trilogy in general because you know they've been talking about him since the first movie they you know met up with him in the end of the second movie and it i understand you know they're trying to say like let's end them quickly because we have another story to tell so it kind of fit in i guess you could say in a good spot but i just to me in general i just felt like it it should have went a little longer for smog but other than that the movie was great um, the conclusion for the movie, <laughs> um, for the ending when um, Bill Be uh, Baggins goes back uh, to his uh, house, and, and the funny thing is, it's like they all think he's dead, so they're just like, "Oh, let's take all this stuff for fun." I, I thought that was pretty funny, but it was really good um, for a movie, and you know, um, just to end it for the tr uh, the trilogy in general. Um, I, it's really good, you know, like, the first two movies, it brings up, like, you know, uh, intense, you know, it shows them the journey of when they go up, and stuff like that, and then it's like, here's a conclusion movie, um, you know, let's, like, have the big, let's go with a bang on this last one, you know what I mean, and they did really well for, the, you know, there's so much great fights, it, it really kept you watching the movie a lot, um, for me in general, for there's some parts from Lord of the Rings, I'm not gonna lie, that kept me um, sort of in the you know in the motion. But I found I found like the Hobbit trilogy in general kept me in my seat more uh, to watch it. So um, I I would recommend anybody who has not seen the Hobbit yet to literally go see this. And the best thing about the the ending of it, it makes you want to see Lord of the Rings one more time. Like I I when I left the theater I. I feel like watching Lord of the Rings now um, from that point because, like, you know, it continues on to Lord of the Rings. So, um, it's one of those great movies that, you know, that they ended at a really good time. Sure, um, there were some emotional parts, of course, because, you know, people were dying because of the war and stuff like that. But there's some really great moments when stuff like that happens. Um, especially with one part, I'm not going to mention who died and all, but... For the people that are like Deep Z fans and all, I'm gonna just point this out to you in a good way, which kind of got me that reaction into the series for the Frieza saga when um, Goku went Super Saiyan for the first time. Um, I had that feeling, kind of like that, watching this movie when you know, like people when it was pretty much getting to the point where things were getting terrible. Um, it was just a great feeling to have bring back, and it's just having the feeling for that, you know, like, you know, that intention and emotional feeling, uh, for the characters was great for it, so, you know, I'm gonna give this movie, um, a literally probably a 9 out of 10, because it, it was great, the conclusion for it and everything, and I, I really, not gonna lie, I'm gonna recommend this movie to anybody, uh, who has not even seen the Hobbit movies in general, so, um, go see it, go check out this movie, um, but uh, I, I would recommend if you've not seen the Hobbit trilogy in general, watch it first and then go see this movie because it, it goes out perfectly to like end this whole trilogy. So um, anyways, guys, that's it for my review. Uh, review. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. 
I will be doing more reviews on movies. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, for any movies you want me to do reviews on. Uh, in general, for future notice, you, if you want to do Avengers 2, let me know or anything. It can, could be, you know, Terminator Genesis or anything, you know what I mean? So, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you saw the movie already, like I did, let me know in uh, in the comments below what's your thoughts on the movie, what you thought about it. I want to hear your thoughts on this too. So, anyways, that's it for now. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.